double time swing. It's a step that we use if the music's a little too fast to do triple steps. Now there's two different styles of double time swing depending on what you're doing. In East Coast Swing or Lindy Hop, there's a particular type of double style swing that you do. In West Coast Swing, there's a slightly different version. It really comes from a touch step or a step touch, right? So instead of doing three steps to two beats of music, you're gonna do a single action of a touch step or a step touch, right? So let's start with the step touch. That's the most common because it's done in East Coast Swing and Lindy Hop. So we're gonna go to our left or you can go to your right, that's fine. And you're gonna go step, touch, step, touch. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. It's still two beats of music. So again, one, two, three, four. I'll do that from the side. One, two, three, four. And from the back, one, two, three, four. So that's step, touch, step, touch. And if you were doing East Coast Swing, that would be step, touch, step, touch, rock, step, step, touch, step, touch, rock, step. Or with the right foot, step, touch, step, touch, rock, step, step, touch, step, touch, rock, step. You can also do the touch step first. You could go touch, step, touch, step, and then do the rock step if you wanted, rock step, or if you were doing West Coast Swing, you could go into a sugar push or other moves. So again, I can go touch, step, touch, step, which is one, two, three, four, or I can go one, two, three, four. Both of those considered a double time so that you're uh, able to move to faster music instead of doing a triple step. I know that when I'm dancing swing, a lot of times I start off with triple steps, maybe get a little tired as the dance goes on, and I move into double time steps. Let's do both of them, starting with the step touch to music. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Those are your double time rhythms.